Good morning. Welcome to this video. Uh, this is a science paper one for 2023 GCE. So we are going to tackle section C, uh, the first question. So remember that uh, on section C, you are only allowed to answer two questions from this section. So uh, in this video, I'm going to help you understand how we can go about answering Question uh, C1, that is uh, section C. Okay, so this is about uh, motion, kinematics, uh, that's what they call it, kinematics. So now what you need to understand that this is, uh, uh, when you look at the graph, this is a uh, velocity on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. So now the first question, before we read the first question, first of all, the statement says figure C1.1. C shows a velocity time graph of a car of mass 1200 so the object we are looking at uh, that uh, gave us this kind of motion is a car that has a mass of 1200 okay so now the first question says calculate the acceleration of the car in the first two seconds so when you look at uh, the graph you have uh, on the y-axis 0 1 2 so the time is two second and the velocity is 30. Okay, the final velocity. So in this case, uh, all you have to do is uh, uh, collect the information, so data. So our uh, initial velocity is uh, zero and our final velocity is uh, 30. Of course, this is uh, 30 meters per second and also the zero is also uh, 0 meters per second and the time which is t is 2 seconds and then the uh, the acceleration is what you're looking for is question mark so what's the formula it's a equals to v minus u divided by t and once you replace now this will give you uh, 30 v which is the final velocity u is the initial 0 divided by 2 and once you punch on your calculator, this uh, is just 30 minus 0 is uh, 30 divided by 2, just give you 15 meters per second squared. So that is our acceleration. Okay, and then second question, explain why the acceleration is 0 meters per second between 2 seconds and 4 seconds. So when you look at the graph on the y-axis and uh, when you are um, two, uh, two seconds and then follow those uh, dotted lines on top, you find that the velocity is 30 on your uh, left y-axis which is 30 there. Also when you go on the fourth uh, second, uh, when you follow the dot dotted lines upward, then on the opposite uh, on your left you see the number on the velocity is still 30. So despite the time moving, the, the velocity of the car was constant. So the answer there is that um, because the, the velocity velocity was constant, okay? Because it was constant, that is a uh, at 30 meters per second. Okay. Uh, that's the answer on uh, C. Uh, this one says uh, calculate the displacement. Uh, calculate the displacement of the car while its velocity was increasing. So when the velocity was increasing, it is from zero all the way up to uh, 30 there. Okay. So uh, they are going to say. Uh, you are going to say displacement uh, is the same as distance, okay? So displacement is just, uh, we are looking at uh, distance, okay? You are looking at distance. So this means that there is a formula that you can apply. S stands for displacement. Then you say ut uh, plus half, and then a times t squared. Okay, so now the, the the initial velocity which is u 
was zero meters per second and the acceleration that we found in one was uh, 15 meters per second squared and the time is still two seconds so therefore you can just plug in now uh, s equals to uh, zero times t which is two plus half then multiply by um, a that is a uh, 15 multiplied by 2 squared okay so that uh, we know that uh, this is going to give you zero so you can just ignore it but we know that this is four okay and then uh, once you multiply that then you're going to get uh, 2 times 15 uh, is just uh, 2 times 15 is 30 so it remain with uh, half multiply by this multiply by uh, 2 uh, I mean uh, multiply by uh, 2 yeah uh, that was squared uh, 2 was squared okay so this is going to be uh, 15 multiply by 4 divided by 2 Okay, so we know that 2 there it's 1, 2 there it's 2, so 2 times 15 is just uh, 30. So displacement is a distance, so units are uh, 30 meters or simply 30. Okay, so that's how you can go about that one. Okay, so uh, that was C, and then we move on to D. Now the question on this says, calculate the resultant force on this car during its acceleration. So acceleration is still like uh, from zero all the way up to thirty in the second uh, second. Okay, on the when the time is two second. Okay, so the uh, we resultant force, you know that force equals to mass times acceleration. And now we know that our information is that uh, the mass given is that this car has a mass of 1,200 kg. You can just uh, check that in the first uh, there, it's a 1,200 uh, kg. Okay, and we found the acceleration to be 15 meters per second squared therefore our force is going to be force equals to uh, 1200 multiplied by 15 15 so this is going to be just uh, 18,000 newton 18,000 newton so as simple as that okay and then the other thing is um, uh, on E, distinguish between speed and velocity. So what is uh, speed and velocity? So E, so the difference is that uh, speed is simply a scalar quantity while uh, velocity, velocity is a vector quantity it's a vector quantity so that that's um, uh, the the major difference okay and the last one is about calculate the displacement of the car for the whole journey so when you are calculating the, the the displacement which is the distance for the entire journey meaning from the zero th uh, second to the 80 second so everything you have to look at the shape of this uh, uh cave that has been formed and once you look at the shape then you can use the mathematical formula which is that the area of the trapezium okay so the area of the trapezium now i'm just gonna draw this so that i can help you understand that so I think uh, it's like this, okay, just want you to pay attention. So we have, I think, somewhere there is uh, 2, then somewhere there it's uh, 4, then the last part is uh, 8. And now uh, 
when you look at this shape, is a trapezium, okay? So we have this, the x-axis, we have that as the y-axis. So the y-axis, uh, they are the last number there, we have it is 30. So this side, okay, on the y-axis, that is the height, and this is sort of like uh, the base, okay? Now, uh, what you need to understand is um, there are two numbers. So the, the, the difference between here, okay, on this part here, uh, when you're using the area of the trapezium, this part is labeled A. And then the, the, the distance all the way from the zero there, uh, going all the way to the 80, okay? That is the base, which is uh, B. And therefore, the area of the trapezium is given as half, uh, open bracket, A plus B, then multiply by H. So in this case, I have to identify, first of all, what is your A, what is your B, and what is your H in this case. So my A is just the, this gap, okay? But I have to find the difference between 4 and 2, which you can just say 4 minus 2, which will give you 2. So in that case, your A is 2, and your B is all the way from 0 to 8. Okay, that is the base. And when you say 8 minus 0, it's sort of like the difference is just 8. And then the height is uh, this uh, distance from 0 all the way up to 30, that number. Okay, and that is 30. And these are the numbers that I'm going to substitute in the formula. Okay, so I hope you have understood that. So let us uh, substitute now. Okay, so uh, what that means is that um, you have uh, those uh, uh, things available, so you can just start now substituting, it is half, then open bracket, your A is 2, plus your B is 8, then your H is 30, so multiply by 30. And simplify this uh, in the bracket first, this is uh, 10, then multiply by 30. Um, then from there, you can say, uh, now 10 times 30, so you're saying like this, then divide by 2. And this is going to give you, like, 2 there, it's 1, 2 into, five, into 10, it's uh, 5. So, uh, 5 times 30, that's going to give you, finally, as in... Uh, area is going to be 150 of course so once you find that 150 as the area just say now uh, total displacement total displacement is 150 remember we are talking about distance so this is a uh, meters okay Okay, so this is uh, how you needed to go about uh, this question. So thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.